Good morning. Morning. And welcome to a very sunny Helmsdale. Yes. We're on the northeast coast of Scotland in Sutherland. That is the A9. It's part of the NC500 that goes around the coast of Scotland. That's why it's called the North Coast 500. Full of yeah. vans at the moment. It's got a cracking fish and chip shop. Oh, it's the best one we've ever been to. And every weekend we bring the Jeep down here and we sit on the harbour side here and scoff our fish and chips. Beautiful. Speaking of the harbour, it's right behind you. If I turn the camera around, you can have a look. And it's a bustling little harbour at a time like this. I bet it is. Sunburn. I bet it's gorgeous. This village was established in 1814. What was it called before Helmsdale then? Land. <laughs> And it was established to house the people that had been cleared. You remember the Highland clearances? Well, Ooh. all the people that were moved off the land and burnt out the houses were rehoused here in this village where they took up new occupations like crofting and fishing, yeah. YouTube channels and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, behind us is the A9 bridge. It goes over the River Helmsdale. Now that's not always been there. It does look quite new, doesn't it? The original one is just a little bit behind it. And guess who built it? Uh, My hero. Oh, really? Thomas Telford. Wow. He gets everywhere, doesn't he? He does. Uh, but this bridge, when it was built, they had to demolish the old castle that just stood to that side of it. That's a very interesting castle, Helmsdale Castle. There was a murder. A, a, a murder. I can't even say it. <laughs> John Gordon, who was the 11th Earl of Sutherland, and his wife, Marion, who came from Surrey. <laughs> it's a very Surrey name, isn't it? Yeah. Were poisoned there. They were murdered back in the, I don't know, 16th century, I think it is. Google it and tell me if I'm wrong. Because you will. And uh, it's not there anymore. They had to knock it down to build the bridge. And there's just a little stone there now to tell you it was there. Now, this is the River Helmsdale, and this is where it comes out into the North Sea. Uh, just a few miles upstream, there's some tributaries, said at that time, that feed into the river. One of them is called the Kildonan Burn. Now, back in, well, about the time that this place was being set up, a chap went up there and he found a gold nugget big enough to make a ring out of. Not this, this is pure H. Samuel, is this? Or Ratners, or one of them, I can't remember. Ra Ratners? <laughs> Are they still alive? And it started a gold rush just a few miles upstream at Ballinor. I wonder if there's any still in there. Oh, shall we go and have a look? If you want to pan for gold here, you've got to buy a permit first. We picked ours up here in Helmsdale. They cost £10 for a day, but you'll get a discount if you're staying in one of the local hotels or B&Bs, or if you're eating in one of the local restaurants. So we've got the passes. We've got the passes. Let's go get some gold. We've travelled about nine miles northwest of Helmsdale and we're in Ballinor. Yes. Not to be confused with that famous football French trophy thing, Ballon d'Or, nothing like that. This is Ballinor. No idea what that is. Which is historically it's Gaelic for town of gold. And this is where Kildon and Burn is. This is where the original nugget of gold was found and where the gold rush started. Now, back in the 1860s, there would have been oh, hundreds of people here. So many people that they actually ended up building shanty towns to house them all. Ooh, that's how many people there were. Now, eventually, the Duke of Sutherland got a bit, I nearly swore there, Myth. a bit fed up because there was a conflict of interest, really, between the prospectors and the fishermen and the deer stalkers. What, the hats? No, the people. Oh. <laughs> stalking deer. I always imagine, like, stalking deer, like, you know, like the cartoon where it goes, choo, 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 like, stalking like that. So the gold rush was over within a year. By 1870, it was all over and done with. But here we are in 2022, and it's still a popular spot for people who fancy the look with a bit of gold. Shall we go have a look? Let's go have a look. Here 
here we are at Kill Don and Burn and I found what I hope is a good spot. It better be. Now, <laughs> just let me clear this up before we go any further because we know what you like. If you're watching this to get some expert tips on finding loads of gold, you're watching the wrong channel. <laughs> you're looking in the wrong place. We're just doing this for the experience and just for a laugh and to enjoy it and see what it's like. All right, so no expert tips. Watch us find a big pot of gold now. That'd be ace, wouldn't it? Oh, I could retire. And some Again. of you who have done this before might be saying, oh, you should be using this. You should be using a pump. You should be using a sluice and this, that and the other. We really not into that. We don't. We don't care. So don't bother. Don't bother telling us what to do because we're probably never going to do it again. There are some rules we have to follow because we are on an estate, private land. So we're not allowed to use a sluice here. Just not allowed. We're not allowed to dig into the bankings. We're not allowed to move rocks unless one person can move it on their own. And if we dig any holes in there, we have to fill them back in afterwards again. So we do have to comply with the rules. We've also had to buy a license to do this today, uh, which cost us ten quid. Uh, but it's, it's all for a good laugh, isn't it? It is, it's all, yeah. Saying that, you know where I'm like with my research. I haven't come into this blind, and I did get a little bit of help and some tips from somebody who's been panning here for, well, since before you were born. That says a lot, doesn't it? I think this were all ice back then. <laughs> yeah, one big glass here. And he doesn't want to be identified, so we're going to nick a name from City Slickers and call him Curly. Curly. We're going to see if we can find Curly's gold. So there are some things you can do to increase the chances of finding some gold. Now, a lot of the stream is made up of bedrock. That's rock that's basically in the earth and it won't move even when the current's really strong when it's flooding. And the pieces of gold can get trapped behind the bedrock or at the side of the bedrock as it flows down during floods. Also, gold's heavier than everything else that you'll find in this stream, in this burn. So it sinks to the bottom. So you've got to go quite low down to find it. You can't just find it on the surface, I wouldn't imagine, most of the time. So whenever the stream floods, whenever the burn floods, the, the water moves things and rocks quite a lot. And a lot of people come here looking for gold. So what you've got to look out for is patches by bedrock where you've got a combination of rock and gravel and sand. If you look at an area and you see that it's mostly just clean gravel and rock, it means that somebody's probably already panned it because there's no sand or anything there. And we're looking for the black sand, which is the heavier stuff. And that's where you'll normally find the gold. Hopefully, let's keep looking. It's worth checking in this. There might just be a huge nugget. <laughs> we'll be able to retire right now. Not today. So the first thing I'm doing is trying to, well, I'm shaking it side to side and back to front and then letting the silty light stuff pour away and then picking the biggest of the rocks out and throwing them away. And because gold's heavier than everything else, any flex or pieces of gold that are in here are just going to sink right to the bottom. But you've got to be patient because obviously you don't want to wash any bits of gold away because they are going to be quite tiny. So I need to keep sieving it and shaking it backwards and forwards and round and round and getting rid of all the bits we don't want until we get to the bits that we do. You 
do find all sorts of things once you start getting down to the sandy, gritty stuff. And there is this little stone that actually looks like gold. It's called fool's gold. And when the light catches it in the right way, it's, it actually looks like gold. But it's not until you see real flecks of gold that you realize that it's not gold, that it just looks, it just looks a bit like gold. But it actually doesn't look anything like gold once you see the, the flecks of real gold. Can I go out and order that Porsche? Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think we can retire today. <laughs> I tell you what though, it does get you back. I mean, I was lucky because I was sat on a big rock. Uh, but you're still kind of humped over. Yeah. But uh, no, we did see some tiny little flecks, which is, is good because at least, at least we saw something. It'll buy us a potato. I don't think it'll even buy us a potato. <laughs> it's a pity because I fancied a bit of jewellery today. Yeah. You'll have to give me a pearl necklace later. <laughs> right, yeah. No. Oh, no, pearls aren't gold, really. You can't are they? say that. Uh, what shop Marge Simpson wears one and you don't hump for her? Humph, or is it Lisa that wears? No, they both wear them, don't they? Yes. Anyway, I digress. Not enough money to retire on today. No. But a good bit of fun, especially yeah. in the weather like this. It's all right, isn't it? It's been a good and I day. Think we've been bitten to death, so make sure you rub your smidge on. Put your smidge on. <laughs> uh, that's it, I think, isn't it? I think There's so. There's something we needed to tell you, and I can't. Oh yes, 2023 calendar. Oh. Uh, is... oh. You can pre-order it out. now. We're going to start shipping them in September, mm. uh, so only in a few weeks. Uh, but you can pre-order them now, which means basically you pay for it and get your order in, yeah. and it guarantees you a copy of the calendar once we start shipping them yeah. in September. Uh, so there's a link in the video description uh, if you want to order that, or you can just scan this, this uh, QR code that's on the screen. Uh, I oh, bet it's covering my face. It probably is, actually. <laughs> and you can order it just through that. Anyway, if you've enjoyed this, <laughs> and we hope you have, and you're not already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button. It's made of gold, don't you know? And if you hit the notifications bell, uh, YouTube will let you know every time we release a new video. Ouchie. Well, we 50 now. I'm gonna go get some buffum from me back now. Some brew. And have, and have a lie down. Take it easy and we'll see you next week, bye. <laughs> ta -ra. Morning, it's, it's a bit nuclear bright. brightness. It's a bit bright for Sean this morning. We, we park our Jeep just there and eat our fish and chips. Don't tell them that, they'll be here. Do, 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 do. The seagulls are vocal. Ooh. <laughs> this. 10, 9, 8. Was that all right? Two, one. Hang on, I've got snot. Train. 1814 Highland Clearances. Train. And we've got people walking past and staring. Rammed with people, probably about <laughs> six, seven, eight hundred people. All in the... It was because he keeps faffing. You're faffing. You give a f <laughs>